Fire departments rely on up-to-date equipment to save lives. But it's not just the vehicles or gear that needs major upkeep. News since Garrett Brown is here to give you a look at a Southern Indiana firehouse in desperate need of repairs. Ladder 2 is the last historic firehouse in use in Vincennes. It first opened its doors back in 1927. Even though it has seen better years, it plays a vital role in the community. Betty Sage has lived right down the road from Ladder 2 for 60 years. She says having them nearby has changed her life. It feels good to have the fire department town. The day you saved my son's life from being picked up one time by somebody and uh, the firemen were all like family to me. Ladder 2 has been one of the busiest firehouses in the city, but the facility is starting to show its age. This makes it difficult for those who work and sometimes live there. There are parts of the station that are just absolutely deplorable. I mean, we got holes in the floor, the workout room, the floor joists. We have one that's almost ate out, the floor spongy. Some of the walls are also breaking apart. That's why leaders are looking into repairing this facility. They're looking at multiple options ranging from renovations to the building to a brand new facility. But the department says they need to look into all the details before they approach the city council. There's only so much money in any city, and you got to be prudent with the taxpayers' dollars. Uh, so, you know, you got to weigh the uh, historical value of the building and what the cost would be to renovate the building. As for Sage, she wants to make sure that the firehouse is taken care of, but she wants it to stay where it is for its rich history and its comfort of being near. They need to fix it up because we need that firehouse here. We need the guys down there to protect this neighborhood and all around. I know that, you know, they're there, it makes me feel good. Chink Pink, Pink staff says this is an issue he's looked into since taking office. He hopes to start making some repairs in the facility later this year. Back to you.